yeah good evening everyone thank you for watching our vijaya diagnostic page uh, so uh, andarki telusu aarogyame mahabhagyam ani peddalu antaru so it's important to take care of our health so uh, mahatma gandhi em chepparante it's not gold silver that matters a lot so man aarogyam baagunte end of the day happiness will be with us so with that note actually we have taken vijaya diagnostics has taken initiative to do some patient education programs so ilanti programs chesi we will give tips to the uh, patient and even the general public also to create awareness on the multiple disorders in future also we'll continue to do these kind of activities so ee roju man thoti dr jayesh cha and dr chirali sha unnaru so dr jayesh cha is a renowned diabetologist in the city so dr kalmo dr jayesh gar ki he has around more than 40 years of in clinical experience only so he he knows how to prevent the diabetes and also managing the diabetes so ivage chuste chaala mandi kuda diabetes tho unnaru but they don't know how to control the sugar levels how to change their lifestyle so ee roju doctor gar adigi manam telusukundamu tips so in between meeke emaina questions untai kuda you can ask us the questions elanti food teesukovali teesukokkudu elanti lifestyle maintain cheyali morning to evening work varandi sir will help us a lot and along with dr jayesh sir manaki mantho dr chirali sir kuda unnaru so madam is a pulmonologist so she is a gold medalist gold medalist in her mbbs tarvata she has done her md and pulmonology so uh, madam actually she is very young and very brave as well endukante when pandemic started began in she she was associated with teams hospital as a assistant professor and starting when she prior to almost she has treated more than 1000 covid patients and still she is counting So thank you so much, sir and ma'am, for being with us today. So handing over the session to Dr. Jayesh. Thank you, madam, very much. And today, the my very, very, very important topic that is how to prevent diabetes, which is very, very important. Prevention of diabetes is more important than just controlling. diabetes or treating a diabetic patient so prevention chair and team chair so for the prevention of diabetes you have to have a good physical activity and a, a balanced good diet which contains less of carbohydrate more of protein and fat see earlier we used to say that fat to be less uh, ghee not to be taken oily items to be avoided but now we don't say take oily items but we would like to change the diet pattern from the high carbohydrate the indians have a 70 to 80% of carbohydrate in their diet let it be south indian north indian west indian yeah east indian anni emana mana fourth part of india la carbohydrate chala ekundi so how to reduce this carbohydrate that is more important just reducing ghee and oil is not important and a two spoon of ghee and two spoon of oil is not harmful to the health but high carbohydrate food especially if we <coughs> now in the kalam la in this uh, in, uh, rainy uh, in the summer season we have all aerated drinks we have juices with sugar and other things so this sugar should be reduced it is better to have a plain water or have a coconut water natural coconut water or a natural fruit juice but you should not add sugar to the fruit juices that is what we do in a pineapple juice or a orange juice we add a sugar please stop adding the sugar to the uh, any fruit juice and best better to stop all the aerated drinks including soda so all the aerated drinks comes thumbs up coca cola or any preserved uh, uh, fruit juice also like uh, maza ya any rasna all this uh, fruit juices to be stopped better to avoid and because everybody wants uh, instant uh, thing and the instant coffee like a uh, instant uh, required nobody wants to take any uh time to do a fruit juice in the house and wait for that they want something kept in the ready made in the freeze 
and start drinking that. And that drinking is very harmful. So in this summer, better to avoid this. Now, secondly, avoiding ice cream in this uh, summer, which is very important because the we usually eat ice cream in the night as a dessert after nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the night. So if you want to eat ice cream, better eat before five o'clock, not to eat after five o'clock. As long as possible, avoid eating ice cream in the night. Any dessert, in fact, even sweets gura tiskunte, dessert gura tiskunte, rathri ki tiskunte chala kastam So please avoid any dessert in the night. And now in this summer, uh, we have a lot of mangoes. And uh, there are many WhatsApp messages and what are on Facebook or uh, any other social media that mangoes can be taken by a diabetic. I don't say no to mangoes by the diabetic, but you can have a portion of mango. You can have two slices of mango, but not full two mangoes. Rendu mamar panduk tinte sugar tapakunte ekoyethedi for the diabetic patient. And <coughs> for the prevention, if your parents, me, father, mother, ever ki sugar unte, anybody who is above 30 years, please take care in controlling your diet, which is very important. If your parents are diabetic, please see that you don't eat more of the carbohydrate food and especially the sugar. Secondly, uh, we should not try to uh, uh, eat uh, high carbohydrate food. Whenever I know, I, whenever a patient comes to my clinic, and then the parent says that my son was eating five to six chapati, or otherwise ante annam chala manchigi tinten onde ipur annam tinten ledu. So that all you know, you count chapatis and you count rice, but you never count how much dal and curries they are taking. So the important is dal and curry, not the chapati. The chapati and rice are very high carbohydrate content. Now, secondly, as a South Indian, me we, we eat we, in a week at least five to six times idli and dosha. And they me oh, idli dosa thinte adi ki eighty percent rice unte di, and a twenty percent a papu unte di. So uh, carbohydrate is so high in this too, and I won't like to tell everybody. Please, from dosha, make it pesare too. The pesare too. Manam chestuna adi pesar papu lekun pesaru plus this will 20% or 10% rice. 80 90% will be just uh, uh, <coughs> pesar papu lekun pesar moong. So moong dal ya moong it will be. So that pesar too will immediately control your sugar because it is high protein. Whereas we are used to idli and dosha, and I would like to request all our South Indian friends and South Indians to reduce the dosha in idli and make it rice uh, uh, peseretu. And the peseretu, and in one of my charitable clinic, where I have done a trial, uh, we have about 150 patients. We had given on that day, uh, uh, we have every two months a, uh, a diabetic camp for fasting and post lunch blood sugar. And this time, the, I said that we will provide you peseretu. And we have provided pesare to 150 people, and we have drastically seen that the patient uh, the before two months when they have been tested, and then when they had idli dosa or puri and sabji, their sugars were reduced by 30 to 40 milligram when they have taken pesare to. So that uh, trial has made me learn that the pesare to can reduce your blood sugar by 40 milligram. Dilution. So better to start pesare to eating and stop eating idli dosa every day. Then secondly, in this uh, summer, we can have a good walking exercise, yoga and resistance exercise. Now I tell walking for one hour, two hour, uh, 10 kilometer, 15 kilometer is not good. Just walking is not enough. Walking, you do it, nalpai nipsham chayandi, you do it 40 minutes, Tarvata, you uh, 20 minutes yoga chayale, especially pranayam, and there are some five to seven yogas. You can see on the YouTube or you can ask some yoga good teacher. They are good for diabetic patients. 
uh, to reduce, like Artha was saying, uh, and uh, there are uh, uh, this uh, <coughs> Bharastrika Pranayam and Nadi Sodan Pranayam and Anu Vilong Pranayam. So all this Pranayam and other 5 to 7 yoga, uh, if you do it, then your sugar can be controlled well. And then you should also develop your muscles. See, the muscle mass as the age advances after 60 years, the patient muscle mass is lost. The patient says, the ever uh, not choose the patient under name Bakagai Penantaru, but weight is same. The weight will be 70, 80 kg only, but the appearance will be as if he is losing the weight. But it is not losing the weight, he is losing the muscle mass of your body, and the fat content is increasing or uh, the other fluids are increasing. But the muscle mass is lost. And once the muscle mass is lost, then your finer movements of your body gets reduced. Your walking gets reduced. Your uh, eating uh, or uh, taking a grip of any uh, objects becomes slow. So better to do with yoga and some muscle strengthening exercise or it's called resistance exercise. If you see on the YouTube or if you ask a good uh, gym coach or a yoga sir who will teach you the muscle strengthening exercise. The muscle strengthening exercise is very, very important. The other thing is in the diet is you increase your protein content, your muscle strengthening will be there. Now, these two things, reducing the carbohydrate, increasing the protein, doing a good physical activity, all this together will prevent the onset of diabetes. And my motto is in this uh, World Health Day, uh, 7th April 2022, the uh, motto or logo given by WHO is Save Planet, Save Health. Now, Save Planet means our <coughs> climatic conditions are becoming so worst that though patient is having a good physical activity, good diet, but due to the environment, they can get a cancer, they can get a lung ailments. The lung ailments will be seen, uh, will be talked by Dr. Chirali. So those lung ailments can be prevented if you save our planet by doing uh, a, a more of green, uh, planting uh, more of trees and uh, saving, uh, conserving the water, which is very important to save our planet. And how to save our health is changing our diet habit and physical activity. After this, the behavioral change is important. I have seen several patients have a very bad behavior change. They, that behavioral change means their attitude towards health is very bad. If a patient's son is asked to do a blood test, he says, sir, uh, test test the tapakunta sugar was the not test chevatu. I mean, that is what everybody says that I don't want to do a test because if you do a testing, something will come. See, this type of attitude, it's not good. Once your parents are diabetic and you are not doing any physical activity and if you are not doing any uh, uh, diet restriction and you are overweight, then if you don't have a blood test, which is very important, the blood test every, every year once for a patient person of a, a diabetic parent or a person who is not uh, having a diabetes in the family but he is obese and he has a sedentary life, they require a blood test once a year and especially all the only five tests are important that is fasting blood sugar, post breakfast sugar, HbA1c, lipid profile, serum creatinine and complete urine exam. Now this five tests will control, will give us idea about your diabetes, about your cholesterol level, about your kidney, because we find 25% of diabetic patients has a kidney problem. 25% also has a heart problem, 25 to 50%. And some 25% has some neurological problem. So if your cholesterol is remaining controlled, then all these problems will not be coming. So and creatinine will give a good idea. And there are many patients who have a asymptomatic uh, uh, pus in the urine and uh, they have uh, protein in the urine, which is the early sign of diabetic kidney problem or a diabetic heart problem. So all these six tests, I think 
any diagnostic center and one of the best diagnostic center in the city hyderabad vijay diagnostic can do this six test and give us a complete your health how uh, how you are going to tell so if, now there are few questions i would like to ask now uh, now this uh, mrs uh, is it avocado is a uh, a uh, fruit uh, good for the diabetic patient yes avocado is one of the good fruit and it can be taken now and another one another formula i have developed that is a cricket team of 11 thing in a diet that is three dry fruit i tell every patient to take 6 to 8 uh, almonds that is badam 6 to 8 uh, pista and two walnut akrot so this three dry fruit makes one multivitamin tablet i don't think you require a multivitamin tablet daily if you are taking this three dry fruit i repeat again 6 to 8 badam 6 to 8 pista and two walnut now secondly i tell everybody to have four fruits per day any patient who is not diabetic they can take four fruits per day any patient who is diabetic and he doesn't want to increase his sugar And and does not want to have a complications of sugar. While the four di- they should take two diabetic two uh, fruits. The non-diabetic, uh, not having a diabetes, should take four fruits. The uh, patients who are diabetic should avoid <coughs> watermelon, which is very plentifully available in this summer. Should not completely avoid. They can have one or two slices of uh, watermelon. Not. Full big plate of watermelon, one or two small slices of watermelon. Any portion, if it is eaten, that will not increase the sugar. Like that, they can avoid mangoes, grapes. You can have eight to ten number of grapes, but not thirty or forty or fifty grapes. Then sapota, that is chiku, and one more is <coughs> sitafal, which we get only uh, two to three months in a year. and the sitafal is very high in sugar so this five fruits to be avoided in a diabetic patient and they should have four green salad cucumber tomatoes no uh, carrot you can have occasionally carrot but not daily carrot they can have cabbage they can have broccoli broccoli is one of the best thing then uh, they can have uh, avocado so this uh, green salad so four green salad four fruits and three dry fruit this is a cricket team of your good health for a good diet to prevent the onset of a diabetes now what is pre diabetes now this is very important uh, everybody thinks that uh, either the who or the pharma company or the diagnostic center or doctors they want to um, label everybody diabetic no it is not like that see earlier we used to say the normal sugar is fasting up to 130 normal but now we say fasting sugar normal is 70 to 100 more than 100 to 125 is a pre diabetes because our experience and our research and lot of data lot of studies real world evidence data and from the multi <coughs> randomized control trials we have found that the patients who have between a uh, sugar between fasting between 101 to 125 that is called pre diabetic has uh, complications like diabetes so the patient may not have a full blown diabetes but has the complications of diabetes so the fasting sugar should be maintained below 100 if it is remaining between 101 to 125 there is no need to start a diabetic tablet but should maintain the diet and physical exercise in a uh, uh, what i have told you earlier now that physical exercise tapakunte cheyali and a diet control carbohydrate takku cheyali adi already i have told so that is important now the post blood blood sugar in a pre diabetes should be maintained below 180 now in a, uh, the pre diabetes the blood sugar will be above 140 to about 200 a patient whose uh, post lunch blood sugar is more than 200 then he has a full blown 
and similarly the HbA1c. HbA1c glycosylated hemoglobin is very important and the glycosylated hemoglobin should be below 6.5. If your HbA1c is remaining between 5.7 to 6.4, you are a pre-diabetic. If your HbA1c is below 5.7, that is 5.6, 5.5, yeah, fine. Then you are not a pre-diabetic also. So, though your blood sugar may be remaining normal, but your HbA1c is remaining between 5.7 to 6.4, then you are labeled as a pre-diabetic and should take the lifestyle modification, uh, try, uh, that is diet, exercise, and the behavioral change. That is important for a pre-diabetic. Is banana good for a diabetic patient? Yes. Banana can be taken, there is no harm in taking one banana. There are patients, once we say you can take banana, they are taking two or three bananas. Two or three bananas are not good. One banana can prevent the onset of hypertension, blood pressure. So, <coughs> banana contains a potassium and it has a fiber. So, it is very good for health. And per one banana per day for a diabetic patient. And for a not a diabetic patient also, anything should be eaten in a limited number. It should not be three banana or four banana. The young guys, they eat three or four bananas. I still tell only one banana per day. And then what happens if someone misses a dose of insulin? If you miss a dose of insulin, the blood sugar is going to go high. Whatever you have eaten will be... <coughs> replay uh, will be seen. So uh, there are now new insulins available uh, where the old insulins which has to be taken before the food but this new insulins can be taken even 20 minutes after the food. So this uh, modern technology has helped us and so this is the new insulins uh, human analogs can be taken even after 20 minutes after eating. So once if you miss you can Again, take the insulin. And uh, diabetes can be cured with diet, exercise, or medication. <coughs> now, I should use a word that diabetes cannot go completely. You can have a remission of a diabetes. You can have a remission of diabetes for five years or seven years. And with your diet, exercise, and food. So, once your diabetes is under control, complete, I use the word control. If your diabetes is under control, then <coughs> sorry, uh, then it is uh, uh, better to control your eating habit and maintain a good physical activity so that you don't get a diabetes again. So, to uh, and under any under stress condition, you get a diabetes. So, uh, to prevent the onset of diabetes, better you do the physical activity and the diet is advised. Is cycling for half an hour is better or walking for one hour is better? See, both are good. Cycling is also good and walking is also good. Uh, depends upon your choice. And as I told you, walking 40 minutes is enough. More than 40 minutes does not get much more. Uh, uh, is sleepless will also lead to diabetes. Uh, sleeplessness may not lead to diabetes. Sleeplessness may not lead to diabetes, but sleeplessness can lead to hypertension. Uh, the person who are at the risk of getting diabetes are the obese, obese person and as the age advances, patient having a hypertension, having a hypothyroid, they are also likely to get it. A, a person's parents are diabetic, yeah, one parent is diabetic or both the parents are diabetic, then the chances of diabetes are high. And the sedentary life can cause, though your family doesn't have a diabetes, but you are having a sedentary life, you are always on the laptop and you are not doing any physical activity and you are munching all the fast food and you are taking all the preserved foods, ready-made foods, fast, and this will result into diabetes. How much quantity of rice can be taken daily? Now, the quantity of rice depends upon how, how much you are taking dal and curry. I usually take that we, Manam, uh, uh, we take uh, 10 spoons of rice and 2 spoons of sambar. 
and we are adding uh, sambar to the rice i tell please add rice to the sambar oka katora sambar undale the 15 uh, spoons or uh, half uh, and you add only two spoons of rice and when you are eating sambar soon we saying not the rice it at present when you take a sambar and rice the rice is seen sambar is seen just as a yellow color and uh, you don't see so you take in a one big bowl a uh, sambar and put two spoon of rice then sambar can be seen and that sambar is a high protein whereas the rice is high uh, carbohydrate so the quantity of rice should be reduced and uh, it is better to replace with the jonne roti jawari jawari roti is better than eating uh, again uh, in south india we have a habit nenu annam tintele nenu godme roti tintuna so that is also very bad because uh, godme roti that is a uh, chapati is equivalent to rice both are high carbohydrate and both causes high sugar so a uh, better to replace with the millet ya jawari roti uh one of the school of thought suggests mangoes to be taken in daily that's what i told already in my uh, conversation that the mangoes should be not taken in a big quantity one or two pieces and a one c what is the frequency of getting it done uh, hba1c it's called glycosylated hemoglobin our uh, the red blood cells which are there in our body they have a one to <coughs> three months lifestyle Uh, three to four months, they have a life, and in three to four months, we get a new uh, blood, red blood cells. Now, this hemoglobin gets uh, the sugar attached to it. So, a patient, if they they do it, a blood sugar today fasting and post breakfast, that may be normal, but whatever he has eaten in the last three months or two months will be reflected in A one C, and. so that will give us a correct data though your blood sugar is this is normal but you are eating <coughs> or you are drinking tea with sugar this is another thing which we have to be corrected that the tea with sugar and the biscuits should be avoided we take with the tea two to four biscuits this biscuit should be avoided completely <coughs> because biscuit is having a maida maida is a white poison it has a sugar that is a again a white poison it has a salt that is again white so these three white poison salt sugar and maida should be avoided this should not be taken so uh, without the biscuit or any bakery item it is better it is better to stop completely all the bakery items as far as possible or reduce it it is not that uh, that you should come if you are not a diabetic it is you can if you are not having a kidney problem or a heart problem you can take a biscuits but please limit it don't take it daily it should be taken uh, uh, occasionally and please if you are a diabetic don't take sugar at all in the tea it should be without sugar or with sugar free or stevia that can be kept in that now uh, please give suggestion for precautions of family history is diabetic that already i have told everything multigrain atta is okay for diabetic no i will not uh, uh, the ready made multigrain atta I, i will not suggest that because we are not sure or we are about the genuinity of those multigrain data it is better to take only jawari jonne rote and jonne uh, you can have the atta as you said uh, in the urine leads to diabetic <coughs> form in the urine <coughs> Uh, it is not the form; it is a protein in the urine. High protein in the urine can uh, give us an idea about the kidney or uh, heart problem. How frequently will I have monitor my blood sugar levels? Now, this again depends upon uh, how uh, uh, how is your sugar level. The patient's sugar level, if they are under well control, you have to. see that if you are not having a control you have to do it daily also if you are having a good control you can do it twice a week also that is uh, with a glucometer but in the laboratory the fasting sugar post fasting sugar and the hb <coughs> these two sugars should be done at least 3 to every 3 to 4 months if you are having a good control the hb1c if it is not controlled it should be done every 3 months 
if you are having a hb1c below 7 between 6.5 to 7 then the hb1c can be done once in six months or once in a year also now all this depends there is no general rule no general thumb it all depends upon how frequent how is your diabetes so it's a tailor made we should not tell a generalized thing that this is a uh, general statement that hb1c should be done once in three months or six months or one year it all depends upon patient to patient every patient is different every patient has a different problem he has a different type of habits and every patient will not uh, respond to the same treatment so every treatment has different now jaggery can be used as a sweet jaggery means bellum so jaggery means good in hindi so this should not be used more the jaggery is good but if you are using daily jaggery then that can also in a diabetic patient can lead to hyperglycemia lot of fear so how do you manage uh, better, uh, diabetes in better way that is do a good physical activity and diet exercise which you have already told uh, does body weight play a role in person becoming diabetic yes it is the biggest role the patient if has a obesity his weight is more he uh, means he is not only uh, overweight but he goes into the grade 1 or grade 2 obesity the chances of diabetic are more in my 40 years of practice in the last 5 to 10 years i have seen the young patients getting diabetes uh, uh, i have seen young as young 15 to 17 years patient now only one of my patient now joined the manipal and he was when 15 years he got a diabetes now a 17 18 is doing his engineering there and he's sending his reports. So the, the young persons are there. We have to be careful. So uh, complex hour for, for uh, uh, food for diabetic. Now, as already I've told you about the diabetic carbohydrate. One more thing I'll tell about the fiber. A millet is a brown and red rice or is okay. It is okay to take brown rice, no problem. But whatever rice you take, the quantity has to be less. The protein has to be more and the fat can be also little more but not the carbohydrate and uh, the fiber for fiber you better take these five seeds pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds flax seeds and uh, uh, chia seeds and sesame seeds now no loop thin so these are the five seeds which uh, 10 10 grams about 40 to 50 grams of these seeds will give us a good fiber in our body and this fiber can uh, uh, reduce the uh, high sugar once you are taking a carbohydrate and if the uh, fiber content is less the sugar level is increasing a lot so to prevent that if your fiber is included in your diet that will try to control your sugar level i think i have told everything and covered for the comp uh, prevention of diabetes and i now hand over to dr chirali for the covid uh, post covid how to manage good evening everyone i'm dr chirali pulmonologist from hyderabad i'm here today to talk about post covid care so as we know uh, as the pandemic is coming to an end and hopefully this is the endemic of uh, covid 19 there are a lot of complications which people have uh, faced post covid whether it's a mild infection, moderate or severe infection. So I'm here to clear the most basic, uh, most frequently asked questions regarding post-COVID care. Since it's an extensive topic, I cannot uh, touch upon everything. So I'll talk about the most common, uh, frequently seen complications, what we've been experiencing in the past uh, five to seven months. So uh, coming to post-COVID care, the first thing is what everybody needs to know is what are the most common complications or the long-term symptoms patients are experiencing after COVID infection. So the first one, the most common being uh, cough, which is persistent for almost two to three months for a lot of patients. And uh, usually it is a dry cough. Sometimes they have it with phlegm. So pertaining to cough, the first and foremost thing which you need to remember is do not panic. If the cough is persisting, it is normal if it is post COVID. If you feel COVID, uh, if you feel the cough is persisting for more than two weeks or more than 15 days, 
then always get a checkup done just to rule out uh, other infections such as tuberculosis or any other fungal infection provided you have other symptoms that is loss of weight loss of appetite fever along with cough then you should suspect that probably you have other infections apart from covid the second most and uh, second most or probably the first most uh, long term symptom we have observed till now is fatigue and weakness in lot of patients which again is a very common uh, complication at is, and there is nothing to worry about this is this is this takes its own time to reduce the only thing you can work upon is uh, trying to build your muscle strength trying to improve your diet with a good physical exercise as dr jay has just explained elaborately regarding the diet and physical exercise which is not only pertaining to diabetics but is also for the entire population whether you have diabetics or diabetes or any other comorbidities so uh yeah so ipudu varaki ochina complications lo first maaku ochindi daggu adi podi daggu chaala mandi cheptuntaru 3 months 4 months varaki daggu untundi taggatledu ani antunnaru so please dan gurinchi ekko vari avakandi panic avakandi adi chaala common gaani meeku daggu tho paatu oka vela aakulu taggadam baru taggadam jwaram ivanni kuda untunayi oka 15 days tarvata kuda untunayi ante definitely doctor ni choopichukondi vere infections emaina unnayo ledho telusukodaniki దాంతో పాటు వీక్నెస్ నీరసం చాలా ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది చాలా మందికి ఒక ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ మంత్స్ వరకు కూడా నీరసం ఉంటుంది అది అది నార్మల్ చాలా మందికి ఉంటది అండ్ కొంతమందికి ఒక వన్ ఇయర్ వరకు కూడా చూస్తున్నాం ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు వన్ ఇయర్ బ్యాక్ వచ్చిన వాళ్ళకి ఇప్పుడు ఇంకా కొంచెం నీరసం ఉంటుంది ఇంకా కొంచెం ఆయాసం అప్పుడప్పుడు నడుస్తే ఆయాసం అని చెప్తుంటారు సో ఫస్ట్ సడన్ గా ఆయాసం వచ్చిందంటే ఫస్ట్ మాకేదో అయిపోయింది నాకేదో ప్రాబ్లం ఉంది అని అనుకోకండి ఫస్ట్ వెళ్ళి చెకప్ చేపించుకోండి ఎందుకు వస్తుందని కొంతమందికి మల్టీ మల్టీవిటమిన్ డిఫిషియన్సీతో కూడా ఆయాసం వస్తుంది దాంతో వీక్నెస్ వచ్చి ఆయాసం వస్తుంది సో ప్రతి ఆయాసం హార్ట్ కానీ లంగ్ రిలేటెడ్ ఉండదు కొంతమందికి హిమోగ్లోబిన్ తగ్గితే కూడా ఆయాసం వస్తుంది కొంతమందికి వీక్నెస్ ఉంటే కూడా ఆయాసం ఉంటుంది సో ఫస్ట్ ఎందుకు వచ్చింది తెలుసుకున్న తర్వాత ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకోవడం బెటర్ మేము చాలా మందిని ఇప్పటి వరకు చూసాము మల్టీ అంటే మల్టిపుల్ ట్యాబ్లెట్స్ చాలా మంది డాక్టర్స్ దగ్గర వెళ్ళి నాకు వీక్నెస్ తగ్గట్లేదని హోమియోపతి ఆయుర్వేద ఆలోపతి అన్ని కాక్టైల్ మిక్స్ చేసి వాడుకుంటున్నారు దట్ ప్లీజ్ డోంట్ డూ దట్ దట్ ఈస్ లీడింగ్ టు లాట్ ఆఫ్ కాంప్లికేషన్స్ అండ్ దట్స్ నాట్ అ గుడ్ హ్యాబిట్ ప్లీజ్ స్టిక్ టు వన్ డాక్టర్ హోమ్ యూఆర్ కంఫర్టబుల్ విత్ హూ నోస్ యువర్ హిస్టరీ అండ్ హీ విల్ ఆర్ హీ ఆర్ షీ విల్ గైడ్ యూ బెటర్ ఫర్దర్ ఏం చేయాలని కమింగ్ టు కోమార్బిడిటీస్ ఉన్న పేషెంట్స్ అంటే వేరే బీమారీలు ఉన్న పేషెంట్స్ బీపీ షుగర్ ఎక్కువ ఏజ్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి కంపల్సరీగా వ్యాక్సినేషన్ ప్లీజ్ టేక్ యువర్ వ్యాక్సినేషన్ మేక్ షూర్ యూ యూ ఆర్ టేకింగ్ బోత్ యువర్ వ్యాక్సిన్స్ అండ్ నౌ ఈవెన్ ద బూస్టర్ డోస్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దిస్ నిమోనియా అండ్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సా వ్యాక్సినేషన్ కూడా అంతే ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎవ్రీ ఇయర్ వీ హ్యావ్ అ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సా వ్యాక్సిన్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ ఇన్ జూన్ అండ్ జూలై ప్లీజ్ మేక్ షూర్ దట్ యూర్ టేకింగ్ యూర్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సా వ్యాక్సినేషన్ and your pneumonia vaccination especially those who are above 65 they should definitely make sure that the vaccines for pneumonia and influenza are taken and coming to diabetes bp sugar heart patient thyroid patient all of these patients need to be careful uh, do not think that uh, the infection or the pandemic is coming to an end even though it seems like it's coming to an end we are responsible for the spread so we i would still suggest please continue taking precautions in crowded areas uh, if not in your cars or in your house but at least byta well it appu mask eskon vellandi inka koncham covid mottanki velaledu inka konni one two cases it what ostune unnai so please take your precautions uh, seriously uh, apart from uh, along with this the third most important uh, complication chaala mandi cheppede entante insomnia sleeplessness సో చాలా మందికి నిద్ర పట్టట్లేదు యాంగ్జైటీ పెరిగింది కొంతమందికి గుండె దడ అంటున్నారు పాల్పిటేషన్స్ వస్తున్నాయి అంటున్నారు సో దీస్ దిస్ ఈస్ డెఫినెట్లీ సీన్ అండ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పేషెన్స్ అండ్ దెర్ ఈస్ క్యూర్ ఫర్ ఇట్ బట్ దట్ దట్ టేక్స్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ యూ నీడ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పేషెన్స్ ఫర్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అ వన్ టైమ్ డిజీజ్ వెర్ యూ టేక్ అప్ టేక్ అప్ పిల్ అండ్ ఇట్ గెట్స్ ఇట్ జస్ట్ రెడ్యూసెస్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పేషెన్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ ఫర్ ద యాంగ్జైటీ ఫర్ ద స్లీప్లెస్నెస్ టు కమ్ బ్యాక్ which again there are a lot of patients who were absolutely fine before covid after covid they are ending up having anxiety attacks they are very worried constantly thinking they have lot of dizziness vertigo a uh, lot of complications coming up for which again we would say do not neglect your symptoms any symptom lasting for more than 2 weeks definitely go show a doctor and make sure you are uh, well investigated well tested 
అన్ని టెస్ట్లు డాక్టర్ చెప్పింది చేయించుకోండి నిర్లక్ష్యం చేయకండి అపార్ట్ అదే చేస్తేనే మాకు ఫర్దర్ ఏం చేయాలో వీల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు టెల్ యూ అది కోవిడా కోవిడ్ కోవిడ్ తో వచ్చిందా లేకపోతే కొత్త ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ వస్తుందా కొత్త బీమారీ వస్తుందా ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ కరెక్ట్ టు టెల్ దట్ ప్రతిది కోవిడ్ తోనే ఉంటుంది లేదంటే ప్రతిది కోవిడ్ తో కాదని చెప్పలేము టెస్ట్ చేసే వరకు ఎవరు చెప్పలేరు బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ జాయింట్ పెయిన్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ వెరీ కామన్ అగైన్ ఇన్ కోవిడ్ దట్ అగైన్ కమ్ ఇట్స్ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ వీక్నెస్ చాలా మందికి వీక్నెస్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి జాయింట్ పెయిన్స్ అండ్ బ్యాక్ పెయిన్స్ ఉంటున్నాయి బట్ ఫర్ దాట్ ప్లీజ్ పెయిన్ కిల్లర్స్ ఎక్కువ ఎక్కువ వాడకండి జాయింట్ పెయిన్స్ ఉంటున్నాయి కదా అని పెయిన్ కిల్లర్స్ పాప్ చేయకండి ఊరికే బికాస్ దాట్ విల్ లీడ్ కిడ్నీ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అండ్ దో దాట్ విల్ బి ఈవెన్ మోర్ డిఫికల్ట్ టు హ్యాండిల్ రాదర్ దాన్ జాయింట్ పెయిన్ యాజ్ సచ్ సో ద మెయిన్ థింగ్ టు ఓవర్ కమ్ జాయింట్ పెయిన్స్ అండ్ బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ ఇస్ గుడ్ ఫిజికల్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ and the first and foremost thing when you are recovering from covid is do not immediately try to rush back to your previous pre covid level energies ante ipu meeku pre covid vache mundu unna energy covid tarvata ventane raadu so meer exercise aina a activity aina melluga start cheyandi intaku mundu meer half an hour walk chestunte oka 15 minutes 10 minutes tho start cheyandi intaku mundu laaga nenu naaku నా బాడీకి ఆల్రెడీ హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ అవట్ ఉంది నేను సంవత్సరాలు హాఫ్ అన్ అవర్ వాకింగ్ చేశాను ఏం అని అనుకోకండి బికాస్ కోవిడ్ రికవరీ చాలా టైం పడుతుంది సో ఎనీ యాక్టివిటీ ఎనీ ఫిజికల్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ యూర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు డూ స్లోగా స్టార్ట్ చేయండి ఫస్ట్ టైం స్టార్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మినిట్స్ స్టార్ట్ చేసుకుంటూ మెల్లిగా పెంచండి స్పీడ్ ని లేకపోతే దాంతో వచ్చిన కాంప్లికేషన్స్ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ మోర్ హార్డ్ టు ట్రీట్ అండి అండ్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దిస్ ద థర్డ్ ద స్లీప్లెస్నెస్ తో పాటు కొంతమందికి థైరాయిడ్ కొత్తగా వస్తుంది సో ఐ వుడ్ సజెస్ట్ లైక్ డాక్టర్ జయేష్ ఆల్రెడీ మెన్షన్ ఇయర్లీ వన్స్ ప్లీజ్ గెట్ అ హెల్త్ చెకప్ అండ్ గెట్ యూర్ రెగ్యులర్ టెస్ట్ డన్ టు నో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఎనీ న్యూ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్స్ ఆర్ న్యూ డిజీజెస్ విచ్ కెన్ బి క్యూర్డ్ అండ్ ఇప్పుడు వచ్చిన కొత్త కేసెస్ లో నౌ ఫ్రమ్ ద పాస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ట్వంటీ డేస్ వీ లుక్ వీ హ్యావ్ బీన్ సీయింగ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ సనుసైటిస్ కేసెస్ కమింగ్ అప్ so which which cannot be entirely attributed to covid adi covid e an cheppalemu but chaala mandi ki ipudu viral infections tho ochina changes weather changes tho kuda sinusitis vastundi kottaga asthma vastundi eppudu leni asthma eppudu leni allergies leni sinusitis sudden ga first time undi so yeah there are a lot of symptoms which are coming for the first time definitely so panic aitundi i can understand but please please don't think that inka this is the end of my life ఇంకా దీనికన్నా నాకు ఇంకేం ఉండదు నాకు సీరియస్ అయిపోతాదు పోస్ట్ కోవిడ్ కాంప్లికేషన్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ కాంప్లికేషన్ డస్ హ్యావ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ మీరు టైమ్లీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకున్నారు టైమ్లీ అడ్వైస్ తీసుకున్నారు చెప్పింది ఫాలో అవుతున్నారు అంటే క్యూర్ ఉంటుంది బట్ యూ ద మెయిన్ థింగ్ యూ నీడ్ టు నో ఇన్ దిస్ ఇస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పేషెంట్స్ బికాస్ రికవరీ టైమ్ ఇస్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ సిక్స్ టు సెవెన్ మంత్స్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ అప్ టు నైన్ టు టెన్ మంత్స్ ఆల్సో అండ్ కమింగ్ టు సైనోసైటిస్ విల్ ఇట్ గెట్ వర్స్ పోస్ట్ కోవిడ్ నాట్ వర్స్ ఇన్ post covid but you may get new developed fully developed sinusitis ante intak mundu eppudu raaledi sudden ga avachu adi ekku aitada worsen aitada ani depends on your body on your immunity what are you allergic to dan batti we can tell you whether adi worsen aitunda control lo untunda is there any other option any other surgery you need to do ledha medicines kone sarpothunda ani another complicated complication noted is uh, lung fibrosis వేర్ ఒక పార్ట్ మీ లంగ్ ది ఒక్క పార్ట్ హార్డ్ అయిపోతుంది అది హార్డ్ అయిపోయినందుకు ఆ పార్ట్ లో సరిగా ఆక్సిజన్ చేరుకోదు సో ఎంత కొంత కాఫ్ అండ్ ఆయాసం కొంతమందికి ఉంటుంది లంగ్ ఫైబ్రోసెస్ అందరికి వస్తుందా అంటే లేదు మాక్సిమం మోడరేట్ టు సివియర్ కేసెస్ వాళ్ళ అంటే ఎవరికైతే ఆక్సిజన్ అవసరం పడింది అవసరం పడినాయి లేదంటే ఐసీయూలో అడ్మిట్ అవ్వాల్సి వచ్చింది వాళ్ళకి ఫైబ్రోసెస్ రావడం ఎక్కువ ఛాన్సెస్ ఉంటున్నాయి మైల్డ్ కేసెస్ వాళ్ళకి తక్కువ ఉంటుంది ఇది పర్మనెంట్ ఆ ఫైబ్రోసెస్ అంటే లేదు పర్మనెంట్ అయితే కాదు దెర్ ఇస్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫర్ ఇట్ కాకపోతే అగైన్ దట్స్ అ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ సమ్ టైమ్ సో యూ నీడ్ టు నో ద రైట్ డాక్టర్ ద రైట్ మెడికేషన్ అండ్ ఫాలోఅప్ కంపల్సరీ ఫాలోఅప్ చేసుకోండి కోవిడ్ వచ్చిపోయింది కదా ఇంకా నాకేం లేదు నేను క్యూర్ అయిపోయాను అట్లా అనుకోకండి యూ డెఫినెట్లీ నీడ్ టు బీ ఇన్ ఫాలోఅప్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ హ్యాడ్ కోవిడ్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ వన్స్ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ ట్వైస్ because you there are certain symptoms there are certain diseases which you may never have experienced check up it might come out that you have this now so that is more important coming to diet and uh, how to uh, take care of children since schools are opening up now we have to make sure that children know and continue their cough etiquette
and perfect it please make sure that you're educating your children in school and at home inti kochin thoda please make sure that they know what they're doing repeat cheppi chandi vaalla daggara so that they are aware that byte kelthe you have to wear your coughing or sneezing koncham dooram elli chese inka better this is not just for covid but it is also to prevent other infections like tb fungal infections influenza and uh, and, and all the other infections yeah do covid uh, new variant weaker after continuous mutations yes there uh, there is no uh, rule that with each mutation it gets weaker there are a set of variants which get weaker some set of variants do get stronger so this is uh, it's just a nature of the virus it keeps replicating it keeps changing itself so which one is weaker which one will be stronger will the next one be stronger or weaker it's too difficult to tell unless we uh, do some research at present the trend what we have noticed is with each variation with each wave the uh, recombinant variant or the new variant has come has come become weaker by its generations multivitamin tablets in covid ward ko chu but not more than one month because some multivitamin tablets do lead to renal stones kidney stones form aithe చాలా మంది ఇంతకు ముందు విటమిన్ సి ఇస్ ద ట్రీట్మెంట్ అనుకొని చాలా మంది విటమిన్ సి టాబ్లెట్స్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫర్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ మంత్స్ వాడిండ్రు విటమిన్ సి లో కాల్షియం కూడా వస్తుంది ఆ కాల్షియం వల్ల కిడ్నీ లో స్టోన్స్ ఫామ్ అవుతాయి సో నాట్ మోర్ దెన్ ఐ వుడ్ నాట్ సజెస్ట్ మోర్ దెన్ వన్ మంత్ మాక్సిమం వన్ మంత్ ఇస్ దట్ టు ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ వీక్నెస్ ఉంటేనే మైల్డ్ వీక్నెస్ ఉంటుందంటే దట్ విల్ ఓవర్ కమ్ విత్ గుడ్ ఇన్టేక్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ అట్లీస్ట్ త్రీ టు ఫోర్ లీటర్స్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ అదర్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ కిడ్నీ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి అట్లీస్ట్ వన్ టు టూ లీటర్స్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఇన్ అ డే ఇస్ సఫిషియంట్ కిడ్నీ అండ్ హార్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి మిగతా అందరూ టూ టు త్రీ లీటర్స్ యంగ్స్టర్స్ కెన్ హ్యావ్ అప్ టు త్రీ టు ఫోర్ లీటర్స్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ మేక్ షూర్ మీ డైట్ బాగుంటుంది యూర్ హ్యావింగ్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్రూట్స్ అండ్ వెజిటబుల్స్ అండ్ యూర్ ఇంక్లూడ్ ప్రోటీన్ ఇన్ యువర్ డైట్ కార్బోహైడ్రేట్ తగ్గించి ప్రోటీన్ ఎక్కువ చేస్తే ఆటోమేటిక్ గా మల్టీవిటమిన్ విల్ యూ డోంట్ నీడ్ మల్టీవిటమిన్ ట్యాబ్లెట్స్ యువర్ వీక్నెస్ విల్ కమ్ డౌన్ along with this sunlight vitamin d teeskondi morning uh, between 6 to 12 o'clock unna sunlight lo minimum 2 to 3 hours sorry uh, 20 to 30 minutes please make sure that you are taking sunlight vitamin d ochina your weakness your bone uh, joint pains your bone pains will also reduce coming to blood thinners the most common uh, uh, most common and sometimes overly used medication is blood thinners uh, blood thinners are to be continued only only under uh ante check cheskuntu prati sari okka sari start chese life long blood thinners vaada an atla ledu this is not a heart condition so heart condition unna valaki kontha mandi ki life long blood thinners is, is been advised but covid ochin tarvata you have to make sure that every two every two months at least meer me d dimer levels check cheyichukuntunaru based on that the doctor will be able to suggest whether to continue or to reduce the dose or stop the medication chaala mandi they stop on their own without doctor suggestion please don't do that same thing with steroids purke steroids vaadakandi avasaram unnappudu doctor e rasistharu steroid is the treatment ankoni intak mundu undedi life saving drug ani for covid and delta variant but we have noticed that omicron lo kuda chaala mandi steroids do not follow oka patient ki ichina prescription ki andarki vartichadu it's different for everybody always take a consultation whether you need that medication or not and then only proceed with any kind of medication if somebody is suggesting you or not suggest cross check with the doctor if you have a doubt take a second opinion but please follow up a well valid written prescription and not something which is circulated on whatsapp uh, up, up, apart from blood thinners and uh, sinusitis and asthma since it's world health today i would like to pass on a message that please make sure you're following three eyes that is you are getting well investigated don't challenge the doctor mem rashna test laki idi urke rastunaru money making business avanni ankokunna ma health kosam e rastunaru na manchike rastunaru ankoni please get your investigations done that will help you to provide complicate prevent complications leda further guidance kosam meeku better untundi second is make sure everybody has a health insurance nowadays it's very important and i'm sure pandemic lo andarki ardham ayi untadi health enta important ani especially even along with health money is is even more important so make sure all of you have a good insurance coverage and third is you make sure you have access to right information uh, whatsapp gaani google lo anta spread whatever is circulated is not always correct if you have a doubt or if you don't have a doubt always make sure that you're asking a doctor you're cross checking with one if you're not comfortable with one doctor say take a second opinion but always 
before spreading or before even reading and learning or accepting information make sure whatever you, you're feeding your brain is correct and uh, i think i'll just uh, clear all the doubts which have been coming up right now so there was a question by somebody saying that i was tested positive in february and other reports were normal so if you don't have any symptoms now and if you're doing fine you don't need any other further tests you can just have a good physical activity and diet and that should be fine there is another patient saying i'm diabetic and tested positive mild what are the precautions to be taken and weight loss tips so weight loss tips would be 20 to 30 minutes of brisk walking and 20 minutes of yoga along with a good portion control diet that is making sure that carbohydrates uh, are lesser in proportion compared to proteins proteins have to be more compared to your carbohydrates that's the main thing and since you mentioned you are a diabetic you have to make sure that you're checking your fasting blood sugar blood, uh, post breakfast blood sugar and hba1c's regularly based on your blood sugar levels as dr jayesh mentioned uh, it's not necessary of to get it in every 3 months but once we see your levels we'll be able to tell you how frequently you need to get your test done what's the best diet for 2 years covid recovered baby for children there is no specific diet please make sure that they're eating everything uh, and keep make a habit that they start with from the childhood and uh, that them on the long term dry fruits is a must for children along with at least 2 to 3 fruits in a day children don't like it but uh, try to come up with creative ways to make them eat you can mix it in some uh, you know make banana chips or something like that where you can mix two things with a healthy uh, snack in it so that they can get the nutrition accordingly there have been instances of people suffering from post covid depression could you throw some light on this yes post covid depression post covid anxiety is the next pandemic which we are facing right now uh, the only thing I, at present we can tell you is please have patience please have a positive attitude since it is post covid the word the word itself should give you motivation enough that you have recovered from covid so that probably there is not much of a problem further you just need to have a positive attitude that you faced one infection you are out of it and uh, if you feel you are unable to come out of it if you feel it is very difficult you are not able to keep up with positive thoughts or do anything uh, you know better to come out of it please take help from a psychiatrist or a doctor they will help you with counseling and if required medication do not jump to conclusions that uh, now i am mentally affected inkan and mental ipoya no na kedo psychiatric problem undi no this is quite common chaala mandi ki post covid e kaadu even in other infections or other diseases lo kuda depression ostundi just that covid koncham highlight ayinanduku ipudu post covid depression an oka pedda fancy term ochindi but there are lot of people who face depression even for other uh, long cancer and heart patients and other uh, problems so depression is not a sickening or a tabu in the society everkaina depression undante chinna choopu ko chinna choopu tho choodakandi please help them uh, motivate them give them a uh, positive uh, attitude koncham uh, attitude maaram ani cheppandi give them some support if you feel valaki they are not able to cope up please take them to a doctor gani vaani judge chesi don't make fun of them valaki vaala meeda comments pass chesi meer inka valani ade you are making them more depressed and inka uh, anxiety lo you are pushing towards them towards anxiety so please avoid that i think it's 2022 and the world is aware uh, of what uh, what all social media is there now to come up with everything so please make sure you get the right access to the doctors is there any particular diet i need to follow if yes for how long there is no particular diet as mentioned protein and uh, fat intake should be in proportion that is the main thing along with physical activity and yoga that's the most important thing uh, apart from this please don't uh, stick to any uh, post covid diets or covid diet. there is no special diet there was no diet even during covid infection there is nothing even post covid in covid i used to take multivitamin tablets no if you are taking for a month please stop if you have crossed a month of taking multivitamin tablets please stop it right away and just make concentrate on your diet after recovery improve energy levels yes again like i mentioned multivitamins uh, like dr jayesh mentioned dry fruits six almonds six walnuts uh, and six pistas this is what you need to have every day morning and if possible jaggery one small oka chinna mukka jaggery ileko chinna mukka bellam kuda chaala energy istundi and diabetics kuda bellam tinochu kani chinna mukka so i think that will help you a lot dantlo chaala iron ostundi so it will help you improve your hemoglobin levels also some people are saying diabetes is a game is it right uh, i 
I'm not sure of the question. I didn't understand that. Is there a COVID way for? Or no, hopefully not. But uh, it's too early to tell if we are going to have way four or not. Few people become diabetic post COVID. Will that aggravate? Yes, this is true. There are a lot of people, youngsters especially, who are ending up becoming diabetic after COVID, because COVID is a stressful, uh, is a kind of a stress on the body. So stress low, sugar levels pergutai. Steroids varthe sugar levels pergutai. So chala mandi ki COVID tarvata ostundi. For some people it is uh, transitory. Ante koni roj lundi taki potundi. For some people it is staying up to two to three months. Uh, there are very, very, very few cases where long-term diabetes, like the full-fledged diabetes, while ki ochna to there are very few patients like that. But ochna wala ki you don't need to panic. Again, for if it is if you're falling in the pre-diabetic range, you can manage it with uh, lifestyle modification like exercise and diet. Oka vela me ko diabetes range lo ostuna ro frequent ga me ko insulin ga ni tablets wala also ostunde ya nante. This again. Medications along with uh, diet and exercise will help you reduce it. If it were that diabetes permanent, I know while that we have not experienced, but we have seen that six to seven months after that automatic go while that diabetes that is possible. For how long does a recovered patient need post-COVID care? If it is if the patient was infected and it was mild, you don't need it more than fifteen days to one month. Okay, well, a hospital admit awal so chindi ICU work ki well so chindi ventilator me da ochi recover ayaro. లేకపోతే స్టీరాయిడ్స్ బాగా ఎక్కువ వాడాల్సి వచ్చింది ఏజ్ ఎక్కువ ఉన్న వాళ్ళు లేకపోతే బీపీ షుగర్ ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి ఫర్ దెన్ అప్ టు త్రీ టు ఫోర్ మంత్స్ ఫిజియోథెరపీ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ చెస్ట్ ఫిజియోథెరపీ కానీ జనరల్ బాడీ ఫిజియోథెరపీ ఫర్ యువర్ జాయింట్స్ అండ్ ఫర్ బ్రీదింగ్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ అండ్ యోగాసనాస్ లైక్ ప్రాణాయామ అండ్ డిఫరెంట్ బ్రీదింగ్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఉన్నాయి యూట్యూబ్ లో మీరు అవి చేసుకుంటే అప్ టు త్రీ టు ఫోర్ మంత్స్ ఇస్ ఇస్ అన్ యావరేజ్ విచ్ వి ఆర్ టెలింగ్ అది కంపల్సరీ త్రీ ఫోర్ మంత్స్ అని ఉండదు అది పేషెంట్ బట్టి ఉంటుంది కొంతమందికి ఫిఫ్టీన్ డేస్ వన్ మంత్ లోనే రికవర్ అయిపోతున్నారు కంప్లీట్లీ సో యాజ్ అండ్ వన్ ద పేషెంట్ స్టార్ట్స్ ఫీలింగ్ గుడ్ స్లోలీ మీరు దాన్ని తగ్గించవచ్చు ఇట్లా ఫిక్స్డ్ రూల్ లేదు దట్ వన్ మంత్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ మంత్స్ జస్ట్ మేక్ షూర్ దట్ ద పేషెంట్ ఇస్ ఫీలింగ్ కంఫర్టబుల్ అండ్ హీఈస్ ఏబుల్ టు అండ్ ఏ చేసినా ఒకటే సారి స్టార్ట్ చేయకండి స్లోగా స్టార్ట్ చేయండి యాజ్ మెన్షన్ అర్లియర్ Does COVID damage memory cells? If yes, what long-term effects does that have? Damaging memory cells are not caused, but some people are having forgetfulness. And they are not able to do some work, some work for them. That is also called brain fog. COVID has been caused by brain fog. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. They have been able to do some work for them. Yeah, I think I've covered all the questions. Uh, I think uh, Vijay Diagnostic Management and the staff uh, to give us this opportunity to tell about the prevention of diabetes and the post-COVID, uh, what steps should be taken. So with this, we will end the program. And I hope uh, all your questions being cleared by Dr. Chirali and me. if there is anything you can contact vijay diagnostic center staff they will try to clear it uh, and they try to uh, give us the questions which have to be cleared so uh, i once again thank everybody uh, who have uh, patiently uh, listened to us and we thank all the uh, audience who have uh, uh, logged in for this uh, live telecast of uh on the health world health day for the prevention of diabetes and post covid care thanks i thank the vijay diagnostic centers and uh, center for this initiative and uh, thank you sai kishore and ms Pra ms prashant and mr anand for giving this opportunity where we can clear people's doubts and hope this continues further and we can uh, clear more doubts for them because of shortage of time we could not take many questions if you have any more queries please contact vijay diagnostic center and we will be happy to help you thank you and please uh, please take care